Hi, everyone. It's Ryan from FLC again. Um, I'm going to make actually what is going to be a quick video today. I just want to take an opportunity while I'm down in a crawl space, a tight crawl space, and <laughs> you can tell, um, to talk about a what a balloon frame house is and why uh, they're more leaky than a platform frame house um, and kind of explain the difference between it. A balloon frame is... Um, typical of construction hmm, for 1940s. Um, every once in a while, I'll find a house in the 50s that's balloon frame, but typically it's all platform. The biggest um, difference between balloon and platform framing is you can see inside the exterior walls from the crawl space and the attic. So what you're seeing here are the floor joists, these two things on either side. Um, and then if there was an insulation in these cavities, um, you would be able to see the exterior sheathing. You can also see the studs um, that are in the exterior wall. Now, this is really important because um, it's why older homes are, well, it's one of the reasons why older homes are more energy inefficient and have uh, a lot of comfort issues, but it's also why they burn so quickly. So um, historic properties, will tend to burn much faster than new construction. Um, well, one, because the air can move out of the house so quickly, um, but two, because if it finds this pathway into the balloon framing, it has a straight shot right up to the attic. And when it does, then your whole exterior wall is on fire and your fire just um, you know, went from one area of the home to another to another. Um, platform framing, is well I guess I don't have a way to really show you uh, well but platform framing would be your standard framing model that most of the houses that you live in um, I guess have uh, it has a bottom plate um, and then on that bottom plate um, the studs are stacked and then you know, centered every 16 or 24 inches. Uh, the important thing about that is that in platform framing, you do one floor at a time. So it would be the first floor is an eight foot wall section that they'll build on the ground and then lift up into place. Um, and then you'll build your joists on top of that um, so that you can then add your second floor once you put your subfloor down. Um, but just kind of a unique opportunity to see this. Um, once we're done with this house, you won't be able to see this anymore because we're conditioning this crawl space and um, we'll end up uh, spray foaming over top of the existing insulation uh, that's there and um, we'll make it a sealed cavity, at least from, from down here. Uh, this house also has an encapsulated attic, so, so really... Um, it wouldn't be an air chute, but it's it's definitely best practices, and it'll make the house tighter. And then, you know, in the case there ever was a fire, it'll be uh, much tighter. But once you see pictures of this, it will be two inches of um, closed cell spray foam on the foundation wall, and then three inches uh, inside that exterior wall. Um, whoops. <laughs> coming out uh, to the floor joists. And... Uh, yeah, it'll be a nice crawl space when we're all done with it. It'll be a nice house when we're all, all done with it, and the other contractors are too. All right, well, signing off.